Welcome to the RV show of Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> We're Mika and Reggie, camping newbies intrigued by the RV lifestyle. He's a concrete camper who loves concrete pads, manicured lawns, and beautiful views. And I'm the concrete glamper. I love campsite decor, and more is more. On the weekends, we've moved from the couch to camping. And as Southerners, we always tow our hospitality and charm as we chase the sun, sand, and sea in our RV. <laughs> We're greeting concrete campers and glampers. It's that time of year again. We are headed today to a RV show. Um, we are taking advantage of a lovely weekend to check out the 2024 Atlanta camping RV show. I think I have it right. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds right. We did it last year for you guys and um, we're back again for 2024. See what's new, what's out, what's available. What are we seeing? Um, so far, it's it's still early. So um, I know the show goes on for a couple of hours till about 4 p.m. today. So we're gonna uh, head on in and see what they have this year. And we're gonna take you guys along with us and see what we all discover together. Absolutely. So there's nine vendors that are here. They call it the largest indoor RV show in Georgia. Um, and so we'll go in, take a look. I think because it's smaller, it's definitely doable in a couple hours and we'll let you know what we find. Is absolutely adorable. This is a barefoot 2024 retro RV. It's 16, um, about 16 um, feet long. So cute. I was going in there. <laughs> <laughs> this would be uh, perfect for you. So adorable and quintessential RV. Is this not the most adorable <laughs> RV that you have seen? It, it is. It's very cute. Uh, I can see you doing this. So. <laughs> Actually, pretty well made. Too. New pants. You got your double protein cakes, your spare battery, hook up. We've been um, selling directly from Holy Wall, Tennessee, for about 15 years. Mm -hmm. And this is the first time that we have an Oliver in a uh, retail show through our, our dealer, um, Southland in Georgia. What's unique about this particular RV, or what stands out? There's none in here that are going to be built like in Oliver. It's four different shells put together. It's all hand woven uh, fiberglass. So you have an inner shell and an outer shell, which makes it truly four seasons. Okay. All your plumbing, wiring, and your uh, holding tanks are in between those two gaps. So it's kind of made like a Yeti cup. And then you can see if you're going around to different campers, all of our uh, cabinetry here is molded in. So there's uh -huh. no screws, no glue, so it's never going to come apart, never going to fall out. Very nice. And so what, is this a 50 amp, 30 amp? Your 30 amp. Okay. Uh, and you've got 400 watts of solar on top with 390 amp hours of uh, lithium batteries. So and typically it's what sleeps two? It can sleep three. So we have, the, this is our twin bed model. Okay. So it sleeps, um, person there and then this dinette converts into a bed as well. Oh, okay, got so it. You can okay. sleep three, 
comfortably. We have a standard floor plan, which has a uh, queen bed in the back, and then our E1 or Elite smaller uh, camper will sleep three as well. Very cute. And this is how many feet? This is 23 feet and six inches overall. This is really interesting. I haven't seen a lot of these. So this is the inside. I do like how they are taking advantage of the front window to give you the dinette and, and give you some seating. But this would be perfect, I guess, in my head, like if you're going hunting, fishing, you know, going mm -hmm. off the, you know, off the road, off road, so to speak. Mm -hmm. It's a wet shower, right? Yeah. Not the biggest fan of that, but. I mean, you understand it in these type of conditions. Absolutely. You can't have separation. I will say it feels very wide. Yeah. Well, look at the front cap. Like it's it's pretty wide, but then it comes in with all the all the uh, extras here. Yeah. The cabinets are nice. Yeah, they are. That's really nice. How the pull out cabinetry. Very streamlined in terms of no handles, very sleek very design, modern. very modern. Very modern. Yeah. Ooh. And then the bed is what? A full? Yeah, probably a full. Yeah. It's not a walk around, but it's a. Like, could we go camping? Have this? walk around. Yeah, yeah, you could definitely do something like this. Yeah. If you were doing this type of a model, and then you have. A convection oven. High gloss here. It's either a closet or a pantry, whatever you would want to do with it. Yeah, and more those sleek cabinetry. Yeah. And then this is really nice. Pretty well built. Yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. Love this. So, this is a little bigger version of this one thing off the bat that i noticed is so separate, separate they separate it in this model they separated the toilet which is nice from the shower so that's a really nice touch this feels very like um ship like, like a like a cruise ship i guess mm -hmm. right I would agree with that. It gives you the vibes that you're on a water. And then this is still the bedroom, but this is a walk around. Olivar marketing at a very broad scale. It doesn't put specific local markets and that's the beauty of the bigger bed. No, it's it's the same size bed, but it's a walk around. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. You know, it'd be a fun I mean, I definitely could see myself in doing something like this. I mean, I really like it. Feels wide. It's feels spacious, even though it's more compact. But it feels like durable. It doesn't feel teeny. Correct. At all. Oh, that's nice. They're thinking from a user experience of they're not only are giving you the outside electric cooler that can serve as an outside refrigerator, but the chopping cutting block, board. cutting board, the cutting board on top, I think is a really nice touch for a user experience. And then the surface is recognizing that you need space to clean and to do things outside. That's a nice touch. Of the cabin. Yeah. And then this is the bumper. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry about tearing anything up. This is a Ember E series. 
full bed, you have your dinette. Um, they really pack a lot of detail in here in terms of a cute little bar for a two seater. But what's unique about this particular um, RV is this section here that not only does it provide your traditional bunk space, it has two access points from the rear and then it also has an access point on the side that you could use for storage. You have two bunks, one up top and in the middle, or if you don't need it, you can use it as storage space and it provides you with two access points. Sounds like more decor. I love that idea. Like look at the amount of storage that you can get in this interior space if you were to raise or lower these bunks. I mean, I think that is just really fantastic. And then unexpectedly, look at this bathroom. That's a nice spacing in here, your traditional shower, but they really took advantage of the corner sink and some shelving. And then you step up into the shower, but you definitely don't feel claustrophobic in here. That's pretty nice. Taking advantage of that corner. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Very nice. Is it a porcelain Kamal? Uh, I did not see that. Yep, it's porcelain. It gives you some nice um, cabinet space. And you got, this is, this is pretty impressive. <laughs> perfect trash can people, perfect space for a trash can. Do not <laughs> underestimate the value of having that space. I feel like this is a very smart floor plan. I would agree. This is well done as far as a spacing floor plan. Um, but I wonder, I think that would be great if the bed could maybe, I don't know. Like if Murphy it was a Murphy bed? bed? Yeah, it doesn't look like it's a Murphy. No, it's, it's it's on not. a platform. But um, then they give you the curtain to close it off. I guess to have your Privacy space, in the right? evening. But well done and well i think well priced one of the things that's caught my eye is for touring these brands that we may not be as familiar with is that you get the sense that it's people who have either rv talked to rvers or understood feedback from rvers in terms of what makes sense usability and smart floor plans and some of these very compact um, yeah rigs. yeah i mean the layout of this is pretty impressive and just how they fit this much in here and mm -hmm. it's actually usable space is very impressive. So overall, I mean, in the price, I mean, the, the price, price point, yeah, is, the really, price really point nice. is done very nice for what you get. And, and now quality, we don't know. Long and experience, know nothing yeah. about the brand, but at the end of the day, on the face value of this, it's pretty impressive. And um, I think they give you a lot of options and, and comforts, creature comforts of your own home in this. And well love, done. love, love that bunkhouse slash storage slash. Yep. Whatever you want to do so with much it. Can get um, into there. And you can get creative too. If you're working from the road, that's a great little office back there. Absolutely. Nice. The storage is a full pass through. So you can get some, some nice pieces in there, I think. And then. This is the front. Now I'll say the one thing I that caught my eye that I don't like is I don't like the fact that they don't have a window out the front door. But that's just a small nit. available relatively soon. Cirrus 920. I uh, used to call it used to be this one. Okay. This is brand new. This is the very first production model. Oh wow. You have almost a thousand watts of solar up on the roof. Uh, 930 to be exact. Okay. 810 amp hours of lithium batteries, uh, which is plenty to be able to run the air conditioner in here for like eight to nine hours. Wow. Wow. And this is all electric? 
I say all electric because of the battery package, because of the solar package, because being able to run the AC for eight to nine hours at a time, uh, being able to recharge those batteries, all of that stuff. Okay. Um, there is propane on board only for the heat inside. This is a unique heating system, is what I'm trying to say. Okay. Super efficient. But if you're looking to be off-grid boondock camping, I mean, you can take this anywhere, set up shop, um, run whatever you want to off-grid, not worry about having a generator with you or anything else. Cool. We're in dually territory. Yeah. Yes. This is surprisingly spacious. And, and, yeah, and it has a, a, a dry bath in a truck camper. Typically you have wet baths in a, in a, in a truck camper. I mean, yeah. yeah. I can get this on and off the truck. Your first time doing it? Like you right now, I could walk you through it. It'll probably take you and I, like verbally telling you, probably takes like 20 minutes. But once you do it a couple times, you'll have it on. Then the 891. Oh, wow. Yeah, so this is a lot more space. Yeah. All right, so our RV show tour has come to an end, it's a wrap. What are your thoughts? Uh, there was some interesting stuff, um, some new stuff, some unusual stuff that we haven't seen before. So that was cool to actually put hands on, walk through, check it out. Um, I think it was interesting. It was mm -hmm. an interesting, not typical show that we've seen and some unique things for 2024. We really wanted to take advantage of seeing what's new out there and what some of the new and up and coming um, RV um, builders and, and companies are doing. And so from that standpoint, I think it was really enlightening and it was just pretty cool to see. Um, there was also um, a couple things, particularly the Brinkley, there was another model um, that they had. So stay tuned. We do plan to show you um, the toy hauler version of the Brinkley's and I'm really excited about that. So we just want to say thank you all for again for uh, checking us out. Um, we appreciate that support. Um, if you haven't already done so, we encourage you to like and subscribe to our channel. And with that, we'll continue to chase the sun, sand, and sea in our RV.